Well, the good news is, since you do a sex advice podcast, which I really like, by the way, every time you, it's a write-off. Really? Oh, yeah. And not just, also, and even. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? So remember, be close to Jesus, whatever you do. He'll help you out if you ask him to. He loves you so. He's always near, you are his child and the one he holds dear. Bye! God bless you! So, do you think you can help me get him back to normal? You came to the right guy. But first, I'm gonna need a few things. Of course, anything! Go to the kitchen and grab 8 to 10 dish towels, tear them in half and lay them on the floor in my room. Then I need two AA batteries. After that, go to Shake Shack and pick up four burgers. Doesn't matter which ones, they're all good. How is that gonna help? You'll see! Finally, I need you to sew the long plastic tube from the vacuum cleaner onto this pair of underwear. Come on, Chris. Hey, you came to me, damn it. I can fix this, but not if you don't trust me. Chris? It's been three hours. Any updates? You don't want to be in here, dude. Stewie, I need your help. I know that there's got to be a part of you inside there that can understand me, and maybe Rupert can help you remember. Remember Rupert? He's your best friend, with whom you seem to have a very sexual past. Yes, it's working. It's Rupert. Nice Rupert. Stewie loves Rupert. The hell? Hello? Stewie! Uh, no Stewie. Stewie! No Stewie! Brian, is Stewie in there? Stewie! No Stewie! Uh... His preschool teacher said he took home the flat Stanley this weekend and she needs it back. Stewie! Open the door! Uh, no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll find it. Stewie! No Stewie! Hi, Brian. I got a trampoline. Stewie! No Stewie! That guy's go high. I don't know how to stop. Let's go home! No, Stewie! Is this my forever? Everything is fine. Just nobody come in or look in. Stewie was right. I am an idiot. I wish I could go back to before this whole thing happened and tell him he's right. Wait, I can go back. Stewie's time machine. Oh, there he is. Wish me luck, Flat Stanley. Or you could just call me Stanley, not make fun of my body. <laughs> Oh, no. What did you do? A lot. You can't go in this machine, Stewie. Removing those parts of your DNA doesn't make you smarter. It just turns you into a regular baby. That's impossible. My science is correct. I know, but I may not have been telling you the truth about Chris being a smart baby. But he solved a Rubik's Cube. I saw the video. I played it in reverse. He wasn't solving one. He was eating one. You're not going to grow up to be dumb. You're going to grow up to be you who's way smarter than me. So you're saying that somehow all my smooshed-together crappy Griffin DNA is actually what makes me smart? Yeah, I think so. I suppose it's possible. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. What's that? By traveling back here, you've created a new timeline. For everything to revert back to normal, you have to drown your past self in the toilet. Hey, Stewie. <laughs> Wait, 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 no, no, sorry, sorry, I have it backwards. What? You're supposed to be drowning your future self. You came back, you're the new timeline. Oh, come on. Hey, I said I'm smart, I'm not perfect. <laughs> do it, just do it. 
Yeah, 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 yes, yes, this is right. Remember Adam and Eve, the first man and woman that God created? Well, God's Word tells us that every day God would go and visit with them. He would take walks with them in the beautiful gardens, and they would talk together. And you know what? He likes to visit with us, too. How do we do that? Well, here's something to think about. The Bible tells us, as many as receive Jesus and believe in Him, He gives them the power to become God's children. Neat, huh?